Hey YouTubers, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video. I guess kind of a video response. Um, I caught a number of videos this morning where people were doing some kind of vinyl community appreciation slash shout out type videos. Uh, I wasn't even really able to clarify who started the thread, if it is a thread, but uh, I really love the videos. I mean, they, they moved me to a degree that I can't even begin to explain to you guys. And I just kind of made it a point to say when I got home today, I was definitely going to share my thoughts and feelings on that as well. So uh, before I jump into that, this is what I'm listening to in the background. Lou Reed Transformer, which is obviously a classic album, 1972 I believe. But um, anyway, as I said before, I had some time this morning and got a chance to watch a number of the uh, vinyl community appreciation videos and and again I just said it a moment ago but I can't even begin to tell you how much that those things move me I mean just just seeing you guys sit there and literally s kind of spill your souls onto the video screen I mean it's, it was just it was just really incredible I mean it's just it was a really really touching thing and um, and it made me kind of think about a couple of things, but the one thing that kind of immediately jumped to mind when I got done watching the videos was um, one thing I tend to be a little, I guess maybe cynical about in life, and uh, and I'm not judging anyone that does this. It's really kind of more my feeling about the world in general, not necessarily an individual. But with my job, I drive around a lot, so I'm always seeing those coexist stickers on the back of cars. You know, with the Jewish star and the cross and the yin and yang, just all that type of stuff. And every time I see one of those, one of the first thoughts I always have is, okay, yeah, it's easy to go pay $3 for a sticker and slap it on your car and say that I want to live in a way that everybody is equal and blah, blah, blah. But then it always makes me wonder, too, just, again, when you constantly look at the world and what's going on, yeah, it's easy to buy that sticker, but how many people are actually living that? You know, do you slap that sticker on your car and then 30 minutes later someone cuts you off merging into a lane and you cuss them out and give them the finger? You know, um, when our presidential election really starts to kick in in the next six months or year, um, you know, how much hatred do you show the Democrats or how much hatred do you show the Republicans? And, all the nastiness that tends to come with that and just on and on and on and it's just kind of to look around at the world and see all of that happening and then see all this coexist get along and sometimes just like it's a, it's a bumper sticker you know who's actually putting it into to action which I'm sure there's some people that are but you know again just looking at the world as a whole and that's one of the things that that really touches me about the vinyl community is this is one of the actual places where you can go and say coexist is not a little tag that we all put on our avatars to say that we're all about getting along. It's actually in practice here. You know, day after day, week after week, month after month, now going on year after year, we have practiced it every practiced practice every single day that this community has really existed. And, and we, we've never lost it. Um, you know, that, that to me is, is damn special. We don't have a bumper sticker that says we want to coexist. We actually do it. And, you know, having people coming from all the different backgrounds, I mean, we have, of course, you know, race-wise, we're all over the place. Um, you know, white, black, Latino, you know, I'm sure the Irish and everything else we can kind of throw, I mean, all from, we're all over the place. Um, you know, age, social economic status, I mean, just kind of all that stuff across the board, it all exists in this community, and yet I don't see anyone treating anyone different in this community whatsoever. Um, you know, I even feel that in times when, I re when I'm responding to other people's videos, and, you know, if I hear somebody say, make a comment like, well, I only have about 15 or so records because I'm not really... You know, so I'm not really posting them, but if I build up my collection one day, I hope to. And, you know, I just always know my, my first initial response to it is, no, those 15 records are your collection, and that's damn special. And, you know, we might look at it from a number standpoint of, 
Some of us have this much, some of us have that much, some of us have this much. But I can honestly say, anyone who has 15 records that want to share them in this community, I feel like we are on no different levels than me having this many records wanting to show the exact same thing. There's, there's nothing in this community that makes a 3,000 record collection more important than a 15 record collection or a 30,000 record collection more important than a 3,000 record collection. I mean, we truly treat each other like we're equals, like we care about everyone the same. Um, you know, I, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't, and I wouldn't talk to a 14-year-old kid who just started collecting vinyl any different than I would talk to a 40-year-old man that has 30,000 vinyls. You know, truly, emotionally, within this community, those individuals are equally important to me, and I have the same desire to experience their musical passions the same way. And I think I, it's more than safe for me to say that everybody else in the community does the exact same thing. And, and that, that's, that's a special-ass thing. I mean, I mean it, it really is. There's just very few places in the world that could live up to what we're doing inside this vinyl community. And again, to think about that statement, because it is true, there are few places in the entire world that can do what we are doing within this vinyl community. Um, so you know, we have something very damn special going on here, and, um, and I can't even begin to tell you how proud I am to be a part of it. I mean, it's, it's absolutely great. One of the things I feel that I'm so blessed about is I was in a position to get in on it when it first started to blossom, because I couldn't imagine what I would have missed up to this point in time. I, I, I feel very, very lucky and very, very blessed that I happened to stumble in when when I did. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that's definitely a, a very, very special thing for, for me, without question. So, um, I don't know, that's just part of what I got from watching some of the videos. Um, the other thing that really stands out in my mind, too, as I was watching all of those, again, looking at the diverse community and everything else, how many people kept expressing their love for the individuals here in the community as well as specific individuals as well. And again, it's just, I, like for example, what comes to mind is, is a Nathan Morales' video. Again, I watched a number of them I can say this about, but he's just the first one that pops in my mind here. And I say that because, as you guys know, you know, Nathan is kind of a, um, you know, he's, he's, Mr. kind of smooth and laid back, you know, there's like, there's no way you can watch his video and be tensed or stressed. You just, you can't do that. <laughs> you know, you put on Nathan's video and it's like, okay, let's see what my guy got to say. <laughs> he's, just, he's just so mellow and cool, um, which is what, what I love about him. Um, but at the same time, you could easily see how, you know, Nathan, if you were walking down the street and someone that didn't know you, you know, you just have no expression on your face, he could be a scary dude. I mean, he's, he's a big dude. He, he, you know, he looks, like, looks like a tough dude. And, you know, just even the thought of, I think the average person that just passes him throughout the course of the day would never even imagine that he would come to YouTube and make the kind of video he did talking about and sharing the love that he has for the vi people in the vinyl community and the community in general. You know, so, again, that's, that's just special to me that you know, we get to see a side of each other that a, a lot of the world will never get to see. You know, I think even the people that work in the record stores that we go to, yeah, they may know that we love vinyl because we come in all the time, we're excited when something new comes about and everything else, but I doubt any of us share the love and caring to the degree that I saw in those videos this morning with everyone that we bump into at a record show or a record store. So again, there's, there's something really special about the connection that we have in this, this community. Um, you know, even the people that we don't get to see videos from, you know, like it's Dimebag would be a perfect example. Who here in the community does not know Dimebag? I mean, who here in the community wouldn't take a bullet for Dimebag? <laughs> Yet, not a single one of us could pick him out of a police lineup because we have no idea what he looks like. <laughs> hint, hint, Dime, you need to start making videos, man. I mean, we... I would absolutely, I would love to put a face to your name, but uh, again, it's, like I said, just going back to the closeness that we have in the community, even someone that we can't even vision what they look like, everybody loves Don Bag. I mean, he's 
non bag. Um, and, and again, like I said, there's there's obviously hundreds of people that we could talk about it in this community, which we can say that now. There's hundreds of people that are just so influential and such a significant part of this community, especially with knowing that being influential doesn't mean you have to have 10,000 vinyls and make a video about it every other day. Your comments, your interaction, your love for the community, that makes you influential. And I appreciate every damn one of you to no end, every single one of you. Um, from those that give me a thumbs up, to the thumbs down, to a comment, to a simple question, I absolutely appreciate it. And uh, as long as God blesses me to stay around, I'm, I'm going to be a part of this thing. I may fall off the wagon every now and then with, you know, moving and all this type of stuff, but I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so, uh, now as, as far as, uh, I guess some people did some individual shout outs. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that. I mean, I kind of gave an example with Dime and Nathan there, but as far as giving specific shout outs to people, I, honestly, I wouldn't feel right doing it because there's just way too many of you that are that are too influential to me. And um, it truly would not sit right with me if I could not mention every single person. And um, and really, there's almost no way I could do that. I mean, there's, there's, there's way too many of you um, that are so meaningful to me. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't even know what else to say about that. I mean, it's, it's just, it's a special place to be. I appreciate your comments. Um, especially those of you that have made individual comments specifically to me. Um, and some of the stuff that you guys have said is just kind of like, almost like, I don't know, well, yeah, almost like too much to take, so to speak. Um, I appreciate this community so much, and I always long to be a part of it. And whenever I hear a comment like, someone's saying something about how I've influenced the community in some way or just some aspect about it or something, that becomes really, really hard for me to take in. And I think it's because I respect the community so much, you know, I don't see myself as even having that much of an influence on something that is so big and so great. So I, th I think that just speaks tons about the level where the community is at that, you know, it's... I don't see myself being influential. It's like, no, you know, he's the man, he's the man, she's the man, you know, just kind of like on and on and on. But again, I guess it's just a part of the respect that we have for each other. But I, I just did want to say that, you know, all those comments, they, they move me so much. They make me feel so wanted. They make me feel a part of this. Um, I just, I honestly cannot thank you guys enough. I mean, I, I was just a a record collector before I came here, but the vinyl community has taken my love and experience of music just to an, an entire, entirely new level. I mean, it's just a, a level I can't even begin to imagine, which, uh, which I think is what we do as people that, that love music the way we do. We could have just iPods, you know, we could have iTunes or whatever, but we have all this stuff because there's something that comes with the tangible part of touching a vinyl, right? There's something that, that comes with going out and purchasing and digging. There's something that comes with holding that big piece of artwork. Well, I think we've taken it to one more level. There's also something that comes with sharing it with hundreds of people and having them communicate with it. It's just one more element of music that we've learned how to experience. And uh, almost to some degree, it's a little sad that there's so many people that won't get to experience it on this level. But um, we'll continue to recruit them, bring them in, and all that good stuff. But um, again, I, I, I don't know what else to say to you guys. I just, I mean, the emotions are there. I mean, I, I love you guys. I love everything that you've done for me. Whether you know you've done it or not, you have. Um, I love you guys. That's all I can say. Hope the vinyl community continues to grow stronger and stronger. If there's ever anything that I can do for someone, always let me know. Uh, oh, that's the other thing I wanted to say. Um, kind of like Spellerine mentioned, I'm kind of in the same boat as him. I have a number of things kind of going on, so I don't have a lot, a lot of funds going out to vinyl right now. But I, I definitely want to continue to show and share stuff. So I want to kind of start doing my request videos again. 
So any of you that want to see any specific artist collection or something like that, um, if I have stuff by that artist or a number of things, uh, shoot me a, a message and let me know, and I'm, I'm going to start doing a few of those videos for a while. Also, I know on my last couple of new videos, I haven't responded to all of the responses in there. Um, just because, again, I've, I've always had so much respect for everyone that's given me a response that when I go in and start responding, I want to make sure I respond to every single comment. And I, just, I haven't had the time to do that. Uh, and especially with, you know, having over a hundred videos floating around out there now, there's all these comments coming in from old videos plus the new videos. I, I have to kind of come to terms with the fact that I can't respond to every comment anymore which kind of drives me crazy. I'm actually going to have to figure out how to be okay with that. <laughs> because I, uh, it's just kind of gone that way. And that's, you know, it's just with hundreds of them all the time, it's just the way it is. So what I wanted to say was I appreciate everyone's comment. I always read every single one. If you have any specific questions or anything for me, send me an individual message. I'll make sure I get back to all of those. Um, and if you're just kind of commenting about the video and things in there and, you know, saying all the nice things you always say, I just want to tell you right now, I definitely appreciate it and thank you so much. And, um, and again, let me know if you guys need anything. I'll stop rambling now. Take care, YouTubers. <laughs>